So within the latest patch to Power World, they buffed Dig Toys and his ability to farm that ore. To a point now where the Dig Toys I created and actually meant to share with you guys last week is unreal in regards to farming ore for that metal. Top 2 in the game without a shadow of a doubt. And in this video guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can create the ultimate Dig Toys. How's it going people? My name is DPJ. Before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. With those notifications turned on, good luck everybody. So Dig Toys, when this game first released, was considered the best early game power for farming ore. It was then quickly realised in fact Dig Toys was far from the best as when set as a base power, it was actually quite slow and did minimal damage to those rocks. Well, I wanted to test something out to see if Dig Toys can be made better. And well, the outcome I created even before the latest patch was a Dig Toys that just ate through rocks, like unbelievably. Now, the latest patch has seen uh, a set improvement to Dig Toys' partner skill. But actually, guys, I think as a whole, even without using his partner skill, he's a much, much better power than he was previously at farming those rocks. In this video, guys, I'll show you the simple way to create yourself the ultimate Dig Toys with the best passives and how to get them actually very easily. Okay, so the end Dig Toys we want, passives are Legend, Earth Emperor, Musclehead and Ferocious. So let's start people and firstly you want to get yourself a Dire Howl which has both Ferocious and Musclehead on it. Dire Howls are super easy to get and find so I suggest here guys you go out and catch a load until you stumble upon one with these passives. And now the end goal is one Dire Howl with both passives on and nothing else. This will mean you have to breed Dire Howls to get said passives. What I did was I caught a load of these Dire Howls until both passives popped up. Then I just bred said Dire Howls until I got that one Dire Howl with both passives on, Musclehead and Ferocious, with no other passives on. These are the only two you want on that Dire Howl baby, so keep breeding guys until you get these. Okay, so from here guys, now we have that Dire Howl with Ferocious and Musclehead on, we need to get ourselves the Legend passive. This means you need to go out guys and get either Jet Dragon, Palladius or Necromus. These are obviously the legendary level 50 world bosses, but we need that legend passive and we need it on our dig toys. And these are the three I do recommend you going out and getting because when we breed these with Dire Howl, it gets us to that next level and this is the easiest way of doing this. Me personally, out of these three, I think Jet Dragon is the easier to catch. Palladius and Necromus come as a pair, so you have to fight them both at the same time. Jet Dragon's an easy catch in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people struggle with this dude, but hey, yeah, but get either all of these guys, you need one of these three because we need to breed these to get that legend passive and pass it on. So once you have said legendary pal, you now guys want to breed this pal with that dire how we created earlier. Now the baby is a guaranteed Anubis, but what we actually want here guys is a baby Anubis with legend, ferocious and musclehead. We don't want any other passives on that Anubis. Now, as of right now, there is a bug on the game that certain powers that have been bred after the latest patch will drop with sometimes a guaranteed passive. And Anubis is one of them. Anubis will now be bred and guaranteed, I believe, with Earth Emperor. Now, they did say that they're going to actually revert this change. They're going to revert this bug. So they're calling it a bug. But to be honest, uh, the Earth Emperor passive is what we want on our Anubis baby. But if you watch this video and have already reverted this change where you won't get a guaranteed of Earth Emperor on your Anubis baby, what you want to do from this point, guys, is go out and catch the world boss, the Alpha Anubis, seen right here on the map. Now, once you catch this guy, he's guaranteed to have that Earth Emperor on. So once you have this world boss Alpha Anubis, you want to breed this with the Anubis you just created, which would have Legend, Musclehead and Ferocious on. Breed these two together guys until you get that Anubis baby with all four passives on. Earth Emperor, Legend, Ferocious and Musclehead. That is the outcome we want guys. So once you have this Anubis baby, put him to the side for a quick second. Now what you want to do next is just three choices here. You can either go out and catch a Rusho, a Lee's Punk or a Lee's Punk Ignis. Now it doesn't matter which one you go out and catch, but you need to get one of these three with zero passives on it. Obviously, I went for Rusho, it's the 
easiest by an absolute clear mile. These are found all over the early parts of the map and like a level 3 to a level 6 so you can get these at super super low levels. But yeah, you want to get one of these, any of these three pals with zero passives on. So keep capturing these guys until you get one with zero passives on. That is our main goal right here people. But once you have that said pal with zero passives on again, Rush or uh, Lee's Punk or Lee's Punk Ignis, you now want to breed this with your Anubis we created earlier. This guarantees you a Dig Toys baby. But obviously, you want that Dig Toys baby with all four passives on it. And they are Legend, Earth Emperor, Musclehead, and Ferocious. These all in one way or another will affect the attack power of your dig toys, meaning when it comes to farming those rocks, people, it terrorizes them, breaking them down in seconds, minimal seconds. Now, as you're seeing on screen now, this dig toys I created for the most part doesn't even need or require that partner skill active to break down these rocks in seconds, guys. With the partner skill active, it's even crazier. Now, obviously, my dig toys is a level four in that condensation machine. I mean, I've condensed another 116 dig toys into him, which I definitely recommend you doing, guys. This will considerably make him a much, much better pal for farming them rocks for you. I mean, you can simply just carry on breeding your rush hole and your Anubis uh, for that for that dig toys. Keep doing this over and over. Then when you get baby pairs or mating pairs, let's breed them together too. So you have in total 116. We need 116 spare dig toys to condense into our main farming dig toys. And then guys, obviously you wanna be using those power souls at the Statue of Power and level up a minimum of your dig toys attack. This will see your dig toys being an otter monster now what i will say is obviously there's pals in the game which will buff your um earth power your ground power upon having them in the same party as your dig toys this really isn't necessary you don't need this i mean as you can see i don't have any of these in my party and my dig toys absolutely terrorizes rocks and i've actually guys increased the health of my rocks in my world settings so it actually even destroyed these rocks even quicker than what you'll see mine do on screen now so yeah keep that in mind but yeah guys, this dig toys right now is up there with the best mining powers in the game. It isn't as good as Astagon, the one I made and made a video on with that lightning strike. Because it will take out like 10 rocks in a second. But basically he's probably the second or third best mining power in this game. Especially guys, if you're running around with him in your party and just throwing him at those rocks. He's unbelievable. So yes, if you want the best dig toys for farming in this game, do what you gotta do and follow this guide. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.